every positive thing that I have ever done in my life, every thing that you try and go through, it just it seems like everything's just crashing down on top of you. And for about a week and a half, I was not me. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to do anything. And it was finally, I was talking to my brother and my best friend, and I just said, you know what? I know at the end of the day, like we kind of came up with it. At the end of the day, I know I didn't do anything wrong. And I knew what I did, I was always, I always done things the right way and done things the clean way. And I know it, and so that's the only thing that matters. All right, here now with VGK analyst Darren Elliott. Darren, how's it going tonight? Just great. Hot outside, lots of people here. Absolutely. Another great night at T-Mobile Arena. Talking about Nate Schmidt here and his new role as advocate and activist. And what exactly is he pushing for? He's pushing for to establish new thresholds. And, and I think that's one of the things that very, very important. He's turned a, a negative, as he said, a, a very low point in his life into a positive, trying to help other athletes so it never happens again. And maybe in doing so, exonerates himself a little bit as well. Absolutely. Uh, making sure that what happened to him it doesn't happen to anyone else. Right? That's right. I mean, because it was trace uh, amounts um, of the chemical, uh, tainted food, meat, and the IIHF is actually looking to do the same thing. So, so he's groundbreaking in the NHL, but people are understanding that, that this can happen and even though nobody's intending for it to happen. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about this game tonight. We've already seen so far in the preseason a shutout, a hat trick, uh, an overtime win, some incredible moves by the Golden Knights. What are we expecting to see tonight? You hope for another victory, even though it doesn't really matter. Tonight, it's all about the young defensemen. Five guys in the lineup vying for maybe one spot. You don't really get this opportunity very often as a young player. You all get to go up against, you're playing as the same team, but you're actually vying for a spot against those guys, against the same opponent. Very bold move. Great for the Golden Knights to do it, to put them all in the lineup at the same time. Uh, from the young guys that we've been watching so far this preseason, who stood out to you? I'm not going to, I'm going to bypass the five defensemen and go up front <laughs> with Cody Glass. I've really enjoyed watching him from a season ago to this season. Very much more mature in his game. The skill is still there. He's bigger, heavier, but I think he's playing on the wing tonight, and I think if he's going to make this team for opening night, it's going to be on the wing. Darren, thank you so much, and go Knights go, right? Go Knights go, Jackie. <laughs> All right, Trisha and Todd, back to you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things.